Well, hello everyone. Sorry, I'm reapplying. <laughs> Sorry, my lipstick. I just filmed a best and worst of Charlotte Tilbury video with some dupes and stuff. If that is up, I will link it. If it is not, stay tuned, it'll be up soon. But today I'm also bringing you my August favorites and fails. I have a an Amazon dress that I am just like, oh my gosh, everyone should own this dress in every color because it is so flattering. I've got a new deodorant. <laughs> I know, wow. I've got a post-it note holder and of course I've got some makeup y stuff too. Let's just dive in, shall we? I wanna start with the dress because it's the thing that I would love every color. I only own one. It is this dress here. I was talking about it on my Instagram and it's cinched at the waist and it's elastic. So it's really, really comfortable. And because the cinching is a little bit longer, I think it's really flattering on a lot of people. The neckline is kind of this squared neckline. It's got slightly poofy sleeves. It hits just a little bit above the knee. It's comfortable, it's flowy. Like. This is like the dress I wish I'd been wearing all summer long. So I was looking and they only have a couple of other colors. I'm like, Jessica, do you really need more? But then there's a part of me that's like, yes, Jessica, because you feel like you actually feel comfortable and feminine and cute in this. And so I just had to give it a shout out because it's one of those random finds that I was like, what the heck? Why is not everyone talking about this dress? So there you have it. It's just incredible. All right, let's dive into some makeup too. So one that I recently fell back in love with, and I've actually had this product for a while and I'm wearing it today because it was a part of the Charlotte Tilbury video, is the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation. I wear the shade number three. It's nearly a perfect shade match. I think when I first tried this, I felt like it wasn't, you know, it's expensive. So I was expecting it to have like coverage and it to be flawless for 15 hours. But I recently restarted using it and I realized that now, because my tastes have changed, I really, really enjoy it. It's kind of got a max of medium coverage. It's really breathable. It looks like skin up close. Like I just think it looks so nice on the skin. It's slightly glowy, but not overly glowy. Like I didn't even powder my T-zone. The only thing I powdered was my under eye. And so I feel like, and of course I don't have super oily skin, but with many glowy foundations, it can be so much that right off the bat, I'm like, okay, I need to power it. Like one that I think is very, very similar from the drugstore is another favorite, the L'Oreal Age Perfect. This one I have to set because it is a little bit glowier than this. So I just think it's a beautiful, very skin-like comfortable foundation that if you've been looking for a high-end one and you know you tend to like what I like, I think you'd like it. If you like more coverage, you prop this won't be your cup of tea, but I, I just think it's so pretty. I'm probably about halfway through it and I'm glad that I retried it because like I said, my tastes have changed over the past few years. Slow down, Jess, it's not a race. I don't know if, it, I, I know I've showed this before, but this is the, um, they have these like initial mugs they're selling at Disney World, but also like on the Disney Parks website, like where you can shop it. And this is the tea I got for Tyler. I wanna say for like Father's Day or his birthday. They're like literally days apart. June is crazy because our wedding anniversary is in June, Tyler's birthday, Genevieve's birthday, Father's Day. I'm just like, wow. So it's tea and the tea is for Tomorrowland. And so it's got all the, which is like one of my favorite lands in Disney. I love that. I think the J, they were sold out when I bought this a while ago and the J was like Jungle Cruise or something like that. I feel like I've said those exact things on a video before. Forgive me. I know we're not wearing a lot of lipstick y'all because masks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But this is so good. And again, I was talking about this in my Instagram stories because I tend to talk about things I'm loving on there. And this is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, specifically in the shade Dancer. This is, I don't even wanna swatch it. I know, I, I will. But it stains my hand because it stains the lips. So I wanna tell you about this with a warning that it is very hard to get off your lips, but it is one of the few liquid lipsticks. It's like the only one I still own, I think. And it just is the prettiest red. It makes your teeth look so white. I gotta wipe it off like right away. But once it dries down, so here, here's what I do. I apply it and it's kind of almost like a moussey texture. And then I will wait a minute and then I'll dab a little bit off like on a tissue. And when I do that, it is just like set. It doesn't go anywhere for I'm talking 12 hours. I had to work out with it on because I didn't have the time to remove it. Anyway, long story short, it's hard to remove. You definitely need like an oil-based cleanser to get it off and it works, but I'm just letting you know now, like you're not gonna be able to just like wipe it off really hard and get it off, mm -mm. But think about that. If you're needing something that's not gonna move and it's at a like really great price point, this is the winner, man. And so my Invisalign journey is almost done. And because of that, I'm like excited to wear lipstick, even if I'm just wearing them for videos and around the house right now, whatever. 
I'm just excited to be able to wear lipstick, you know? Another favorite is this e.l.f. stipple brush. It's four bucks. You can get it in a few places like e.l.f.'s website, Target's website, etc. It's kind of a short one. I think they call it like their travel stipple brush, but I don't think they still sell, like they used to have a small and a large stipple brush and I think they only sell one of those and then they sell this. And it's so good, it's a little bit denser, but for certain cream blushes, I feel like this is ideal. And so this does a good job because it is so dense, I can really pack the color on. So I wanted to give it a shout out. I get a lot of questions about brushes for cream blushes since I use them a lot. Brushes for blushes, baby. And this one is just stellar and it's so inexpensive. A couple misses here. First of all, Lancome Juicy Tubes. I guess I'm on their PR list. I don't know that I realized I was. Anyway, they sent me all their Juicy Tubes. I tried one because I thought, well, will I even like it? And I know they're like kind of nostalgic from the 90s or 2000s, whatever. Everyone had them in their purse apparently. These are the stickiest things I've ever used. Like everything I touched got stuck. I had dog fur on my leg. It was awful guys. So if you're hearing a lot about it and you've never tried them, I don't know that unless you like super sticky, I'm talking like extreme stickiness. I'm not a fan. I'm definitely, I'm not even gonna open the other ones. I'm gonna donate them or something because uh, no, they're not for me. I just, I'm glad I know that now they're not for me. They do have, some, I don't know if each one smells differently. This one's Melon Rewind and it definitely smells like melon. <sighs> Today I was watching the um, Disney Dan. Y'all know how much I love him. <laughs> And uh, he has a YouTube channel and he does these history videos where it's like Disney history. And the most recent one I watched was he went through Mulan's costumes, how they've evolved over the years, like in the Disney parks specifically. And he's just so freaking funny, you guys. And when he laughs, I like laugh cry. And then I want to send all my friends his videos and they all think I'm weird because I can't stop sending them his videos. I'm like, whatever. But they all think he's funny too. So another one I was watching earlier was, it was like, I think he put it up last Halloween and I hope he does a similar one this Halloween, but it was like 10 creepiest costumes. <laughs> I'm only halfway through it and I was like in tears laughing. All right, next dud is this L'Oreal Gold Mirage little eyeshadow. I have it in the shade Pink Quartz. I bought it recently and I tried it recently in a video and it was like the one dud from that video. It just wasn't what I thought it would be like. I thought it would be like a one shadow type thing where I could put it on my lid and then blend it in and the color is really pretty but it blends away like instantly blends away. So I have a lot of you guys said try it with an eye primer. I did because I didn't in that video and it, it was a little bit better but it still was not quite up to the what I thought it would be like. Another one of you guys said maybe it's meant to be more of like a shadow topper type thing. So I'm gonna use it a little bit more. I'm not gonna get rid of it just like right away after using it a few times but it's one that it's bad enough in my opinion that I wanted to mention it in this so you guys don't like spend your money because it looks so pretty and this stupid shadow is like $12.99. I'm like, are you kidding me? Spend like $3 on this Maybelline single shadow if you want a similar look in the shade Dusty Rose. It's so pretty. I wear this almost every single day. Another weird favorite. Okay, it's not that weird. So when we were in our little like socially distanced cabin trip, I my lips got super chapped. I don't know if I got retinol on them because we were like in the cabin. We weren't like in the sun a ton. And when we were, I had SPF lip balm on. Okay, long story short, my lips got crazy, crazy chapped, like painfully chapped <laughs> and this aquaphor sealed the deal so here's my question for you guys i was looking at the ingredients and i don't know that they match so the aquaphor lip balm that you can buy like in the lip balm section at the drugstore seemingly is different than just regular aquaphor ointment for the longest time i thought it was the same thing well i've tried the aquaphor lip treatment and i didn't like it like it didn't do what i needed it to do but I had this in my daughter's diaper bag while we were on that trip and it's just regular Aquaphor, but it's like from the travel section of the store, you know? I put this on my lips and literally, I just reapplied every few hours and within a day and a half, it was like completely healed. It was crazy and I was like, thank you so much. I went to the store the other day, went to the travel section and bought a couple more because I lost the one I brought on the trip because of course I did. So I now have one in my purse, one in my nightstand. And the nice thing is it really is just Aquaphor. And so I can just kind of squirt Aquaphor into this as it empties and I've got them everywhere. And I think that's awesome. Cost effective. I couldn't find these little tiny things anywhere except the travel section. So if you're looking for this, that's where it will be. I love it. I, I'm a convert. I'd had so many people tell me over the years, no Aquaphor. And I kept trying the lip treatment and not liking it, but regular old Aquaphor. Wow, man, just wow. And I, I use it on my daughter's bum bum too. <laughs> Not the, not that one, you know what I mean. Let me tell you about this deodorant, okay? This is the Old Spice Oasis with Vanilla Notes deodorant. Yes, it is a men's deodorant. Yes, it is the bomb. What I've realized is I've tried a lot of like natural deodorants that are more aluminum free and stuff, and they just don't work as well on me. 
The Old Spice, I tried like the Wolfthorn one and that one smells, wow. It smells amazing, it works really well, but keep in mind, this is just the deodorant. It's not the deodorant and antiperspirant. Because I think once you add the antiperspirant, that's where the aluminum comes in. That's my understanding, I might be wrong. This one is also aluminum free because it's just the deodorant, not the antiperspirant. And it smells even better because it has these vanilla notes in it. And it, guys, it, I, I'm telling you with the packaging all this, I'm like, I think they know a lot of women are buying the deodorants and so they're making them look slightly more feminine, if you will. I don't wanna offend anyone with that, but I mean, and so, it, it's just, it smells amazing. I'm really enjoying it. This is something, again, it's just a deodorant. So sometimes if I'm extra sweaty that day, I might reapply it halfway through just really quickly. I just, I love the smell. I think it smells incredible. So that and Wolfthorn are like my two favorites. Okay, bought this on Amazon recently. So since I, you know, a lot of us are working from home, I was kind of looking at office supplies on Amazon and I was like, I just want, I need a new, like, I use post-it notes a lot. It's the teacher in me, I guess, I just do. I was looking for a holder that was really, really useful. And I found this one and it's actual post-it brand, but it's got these really cute rose gold features and it's the pop-up kind, whereas you pull it, the next one comes up that way. I'm gonna be honest, the snobby teacher in me, I didn't understand the pop-up thing. I was like, no, I like the regular ones. But with the regular ones, you gotta like hold it while you pull the other one off. This one, you just rip it and it's holding itself down. It's genius. So I'm finally a convert to the pop-up notes. I had to mention it because it's, it's so cute. It's so sleek on my desk. Another one I bought to match is there's a bunch of these on Amazon. I love paper clips. I actually use them a weird amount. You know, when I'm doing like, let's say a sponsorship or something with the brand, I print out the contract and stuff. I don't know, I just, this is the way I roll, okay? I'm very old school. So I love these kinds of paper clip holders where it's magnetic so the paper clip is just ready to grab whenever you need it. And yeah, and these just kind of match. They look so pretty on my desk. So since I know a lot of us are working from home, I know like my best friend, Emily, she was like, I'm literally working from home at least until next year, could be longer. It's time to jazz up your home workstation, baby. Okay, I have another favorite. So I've been trying to drink less A, wine throughout the week. And that sounds bad, but you know what I mean? Like in the evenings I'd have a glass of wine. So I'm trying to do that less. So I've been drinking like Zevias, which I talked about in my last favorites video. If you want to check out that faves and fails, I can link it above and below. I found another brand at the grocery store called Virgil's. And so I bought their root beer to try it like side by side with the Zevia root beer. Cause they're zero calories, zero sugar. Zevia stuff is sweetened with Stevia. And the Virgil stuff is like a blend of stevia and monk fruit sweetener, which I've actually have and I've used to bake with, and it's a great uh, natural sugar alternative. And then I think it's got erythritol in it. So it's a different sweetness to each, but they're both really good. So I know Virgil's also makes like cream soda and a few other things. I might try that because I think in the realm of root beer, I might like Zevia better, but I don't love Zevia's cream soda, so I might try Virgil's cream soda. Okay, this is my world right now, all right? But I'm telling you, it's awesome, and I don't feel guilty drinking it. Anyway, figured I'd give it a mention because that's where I'm at with that. <laughs> anyway, I feel like this was like a shorter one than usual. I'm not sure, but I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll subscribe. I upload three times a week, beauty, lifestyle, home, cooking, vlogs, all kinds of stuff, and I'd love to say hey to you on my social media. It is at It's Jessica Braun, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.